What's up guys? We're gonna be some, doing something that's never been done, I don't think, on the entire West Coast. We're gonna try to do a mystery tackle box slam. And for those of you who are new to mystery tackle box, let me just explain what this is. So basically, mystery tackle box is a subscription-based company. They, uh, you buy a subscription to them, and then every month they'll send you baits. They got bass boxes, they have crappie, panfish boxes, they have trout boxes. But this one I'm gonna be working with today this is a inshore saltwater box and basically this one I believe it's designed for East Coast just from what I've seen uh, on their website and what's in this box. It's designed for East Coast, maybe flats fishing for redfish, trout, stuff like that. But I'm going to try and get out here and try to do it with some rockfish and maybe even a lingcod if we're lucky. So let me go through what's in here and then uh, we'll get to the fishing. So. There's one thing in here that I don't think I'll use today. Oh, it's a sticker, we don't wanna lose that. So you can see here, it's full of different baits and different lures and stuff. So basically, you, the, you get more in the, in the box than what, the, what you pay for the box. So if all these lures add up to like $35, you pay $20 for the box. It's a good deal for you, and uh, you get to try some new lures that you probably wouldn't otherwise. So, uh, first thing I'm going to show you is this little sabiki here. The, this would definitely work out here. You know, you get your live bait. If you've seen any of my videos out here in the kayak, you know that I like to use live bait. And uh, this would definitely work. But today I don't have a live bait well. I only have one rod. So I'm going to kind of just forgo this. And basically, anyone can catch a smelt on one of these anyway. So I don't think that'll be too exciting. So we'll just skip that one. But we got one, two, three, four, five, five baits. And I think we'll be able to combine two of them. So basically, four different setups that we're going to try to catch at least one rockfish on. And uh, if we do that, hey, it's a mystery tackle box slam. First one I've ever done. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the first one on the entire West Coast. So you heard, you heard it here first on Dire Fishing. I think the first one I'm going to use this one. This is probably the easiest one. So this is just a half ounce reaction strike flash so like I said only got one rod one reel out here today so we're going traveling light if you watched my previous episode you saw the crab pots that I dropped so I couldn't carry that much gear today and uh, basically I just got a swivel tied on here 20 pound mono and we're gonna attach that swivel directly to this little it's called a reaction strike flash basically it's just a crocodile type deal So this lure has a nice little fluttering motion if you just drop it straight down. So I got a feeling that's going to trigger some rockfish to bite. But we got to get out to the rockfish area. So let's make that paddle out now. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see this fish finder here, but you can see a steep increase. That's obviously not sand. So this is where we're going to start fishing. And we're in a little bit shallower water now. 30, about 30 feet fluctuating between 20 and 30, 25 and 35, I guess. So this is a little rock point here. If you're familiar with the area, it's a pretty well-known spot here. So it's pretty highly pressured, but I feel like we can pull a fish out of here. Looks like I'm gonna need to put some oil on this reel. Drop it down. Oh, there we go. Fish on right away. I wasn't even down there for more than like 20 seconds. Like I said, everything eats a cast master. Basically a shiny piece of metal imitating a little bait fish. Oh, geez. What is that? Oh, a little kelp greenling. Alright, so if you're not familiar with West Coast fishing, this is a kelp greenling. It's one of the many species of rockfish that we have here. This is actually a pretty big one. A little bit of blue on the head, a little bit of brown. Sometimes they can be a little more colorful, but hey, pretty good right away, right on the drop. And you can actually eat these. I think the minimum size is 12 inches, but I'm not a big fan of them, so I'm going to toss this guy back. 
There he goes. Wow, that was quick. All right, so one success, one down. The reaction strike flash, true to the name, got a reaction strike from its flashing. So that one's down. We're uh, moving along, moving along. Okay, dig deep into our bag of goodies here. I think the next one I'm gonna try is a little combo. So this is a, uh, basically, it's called a Rat Lies Threader Jig Heads, H&H &H Lure Company. Oh, they have a rattle in them. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't say how heavy they are. I'm guessing like half ounce, three quarter ounce maybe. Yeah, so, oh, it's got some eyes there with a little BB inside, two BBs inside. It rattles a little bit, so that should help entice a bite. And on this jig head, I'm going to put on Venom Lures Super Dew, the original hand cut multi cc bait, four inch. Little squid imitations, basically. So I'm gonna throw that on this jig head. Should do wonders here. So we're starting off with the easy baits first. And in a little bit, once we knock these out, then it's gonna start getting interesting. All right, doesn't have any smell, but there's a ton of uh, salt on this guy. So we're just gonna thread it on. Just like so. Basically a little squid imitation. Oh, actually, one more thing. So another thing that comes in this box, liquid mayhem, no fish can resist. Let's put some of this liquid mayhem on. In my opinion, the more scent, the better. So we got some liquid mayhem on the uh, Venom Lure Super Dew with the H&H Rattleized Threader. Basically three baits in one. Let's see if we can catch something on this one. All right. Bait's going down. Got a nice little action to it. Basically, we're gonna do the same thing with this one that we did with the uh, Cast Master deal, the reaction strike flash. We're just gonna jig it up and down. We're gonna try and get close to the bottom. It's a little bit light for out here, but I think we can make it happen. Now, I really like this rod. It's actually a salmon rod. But uh, I like to use it for rockfish too because the, it's so flexible, so sensitive that even those small fish, I mean that was actually a pretty big greenling, but uh, even the small rockfish put up a good fight on this guy, this setup. Alright guys, this is where it's going to get a little interesting. So unfortunately I don't think this thing has enough weight to get to the bottom uh, where the fish are. So we're going to have to improvise a little bit. So I got a little bit of a plan for that. All right, so what I've tied on is a little slider here. We're gonna put a, I think this is a four ounce weight. So for you bass anglers, it's basically like a Carolina rig. Slider with a weight there down with about a three foot leader to our jig head there. And this is gonna help us get down to the bottom and get closer to the strike zone. Cause I got a feeling I'm not getting down close enough without this four ounce weight. So with this, should be able to get down there a little bit easier. Put that bait in front of a fish's mouth. There we go. Ooh, this one feels a little bit heavier. So like I was saying, put that weight on so I get close to the bottom. And finally something sl slammed it. Ooh. It's taking some drag. This feels like a heavy fish, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a ling cod. And yep, it is a ling cod. Get over here, little buddy. All right. First ling cod on the mystery tackle box baits. Gotta believe this is probably the first one ever. I don't know. I've never seen it on YouTube. All right, there's our first ling cod of the day. On that little white jig head with the rattles in it and then that little purple squid bait. 
it was definitely too light before that's why I couldn't get it down to the bottom it wasn't getting any hits but once I put that weight on there and got it down to the bottom this guy just slammed it and obviously too small to keep these people these guys need to be 24 inches uh, in order to keep here in California or sorry 22 inches here in California in order to keep but this one's probably I don't know, I'd say around 20 inches or so and for those of you who aren't familiar with these fish these are another rockfish, but these are the ones with the biggest teeth of them all. So I don't know if you can see that in there. You definitely wouldn't want to get bitten by one of these guys. So there we go. We're moving along in the uh, slam. Let's let this guy go. Nice little release there. So this is where this challenge gets a little bit interesting. So. I was planning to move on to this Carolina rig once I got to this, but I had to go a little bit earlier than expected because this guy was just too light to get to the bottom. But we'll put him back. That one down. It's kind of like a two for one deal. We got the jig heads and the little squid bait down. And now we got two crankbaits left. And I'm going to save the big one for last. Hopefully that land us a big fish. But to start, we're going to go with this Yozuri Surface Minnow. And I think this is actually a floating lure. Like I said, these are, I think, designed for East Coast type fishing. So probably designed to fish in like, I don't know, five feet or less of water. But we're currently in 48 feet. So obviously not going to get to the bottom without this weight. So that's why we have this Carolina rig, kind of jerry rig to get this thing down there. So these Yozuri lures are always nice. I think, let's see if this one's, yeah, this one's made in Japan. Japanese lures are always good quality in my experience. So I got a leader here, the swivel. I'm just gonna attach that swivel to the lure like so. So one of the popular bait fishes in the Bay Area here is anchovies. And basically everything eats anchovy, halibut, lingcod, rockfish, salmon, basically anything you can catch out here. So I feel like this little lure would be a good anchovy imitation. The one thing is this thing has two big trebles on it, so I think, feel like it's going to be easy to snag. So I got to keep it far enough off the bottom where that doesn't happen. There we go. Here's one. That didn't take long. Probably about two to three minutes into trolling. Doesn't really feel like a big one. But he thumped that lure right on the bottom. Got a feeling this is like a rockfish or something. What do we got? Oh, it's another little link cod. Oh, came off right there. All right, well, I don't want to stay out here too long. I'm sure I could catch another one on this, but I kind of want to get to the next lure, which is actually what I was most excited about in this whole challenge. So, so far we've got one link cod on, the, on this lure, little one, one slightly bigger link cod on the squid lure, and one greenling, no rockfish surprisingly so far. Uh, one greenling on the castmaster type thing. So, this is the last bait in this challenge. And this is what I was most excited about throwing. This is the, oh, it's a build, basically it's a bass lure, a jerk bait, build ant series, boy ducket, uh, tournament grade hooks. So, oh, that's good. Should have strong hooks. I don't know if it's tournament grade for the ocean, but let's see. We got three quarter ounce it dives six to ten feet normally I got this weight on here so we're gonna be able to get it all the way to the bottom and this is kind of these are good colors in my opinion for lingcod red and white or red and silver so I got a feeling a lingcod's gonna come up and grab this one and it's the biggest lure in the box I like to use big baits big bait catches big fish this isn't really a big bait in terms of lingcod standards, but I think a lingcod is going to grab this. So we'll throw it down and hope for the best. 
All right, guys, and one thing I forgot to mention for rockfish here in the Bay Area, you're limited to two hooks per line. So we're gonna take off one of these hooks so that we're still legal to catch rockfish. And I think I'm gonna take off, uh, I'm gonna take off this middle one. Actually, no, I'm gonna take off this, what do you think, the middle or the front? I think I'm gonna take off this front one. All right, there we go. We got two hooks on them now. Now we're legal, good to go. Fingers crossed, maybe we'll get a keeper link cut on this one. Well guys, our worst nightmare might have happened. I think we got this guy snagged. Unfortunately. Ooh, we might have got it out. Well, we lost it. The show's... Oh, we got it back. Woo! Show goes on. Oh, yeah. That's a good hit. Right away, once we dropped it back down after that snag. Right on a good rock here. Ooh. I got a feeling this is a link cod. Good heavy hit. Now it's giving some good head shakes. We went right over, oh, you can see on the fish finder there my fish. That's pretty cool. There it goes. Oh, it's not a rock cod, it's a huge vermilion. Oh, wow. These are pretty rare in these uh, parts of the... All right. Oh, no. Oh, he's only got one treble in him now. Was not expecting that. All right, so for those of you who aren't familiar with West Coast fishing, this is a vermilion rockfish, and usually you find these guys out in really deep water, like 100 to 200, even deeper than that. And uh, for him to come in, we're at we're in 35 feet of water right now. For him to come in this close and to be this big, uh, it's pretty uh, rare, I'd say. I mean, I don't even out in deep waters, if you catch one like this, it'd be a good day. But in here, shallow, man, that's pretty rare. Cool catch, and a nice way to finish off this last lure. I'm gonna keep this one. This one's gonna come home for dinner. So, in terms of table fare, these are kind of the more sought after rockfish species. I'd say because they probably look the coolest. Got that really bright red, and, uh, and they get the biggest out of all the rockfish species. Let's snap a quick picture here. Mystery tackle box. So the cool thing about this box is it's got this measuring tape here. So this guy, he's about just under 20, I'd probably say like 19 and a half inches. Really good for a vermilion in these waters. So pretty cool catch in my opinion. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this MTB slam. Like I said, I think it's the first time ever any West Coast angler has ever tried anything like this. So. Cool company. If you're into it, check it out. I'll leave it linked in the description below. Like I said, they're a subscription-based company, but they uh, they also have some other stuff you can buy, onesie, twosies here and there too. But one thing that I did want to tell you guys is I was thinking that this type of subscription-based thing would be really good for rockfish slash lingcod fishermen here on the West Coast, and they do not have anything like it. Like you saw in this video, a lot of these baits I had to kind of modify to fit our needs here on the West Coast. I sent them an email, I told them, hey, I think this this uh, setup would work good towards rockfish. I think a lot of people here on the West Coast would be interested. So I sent them an email, I told them what I thought. I thought it would work well for us West Coast fishermen. But uh, of course, I'm just one fisherman, so they're not gonna make a new product based on one the demands of one fisherman. But if you guys think that'd be a good idea, I think if you guys leave a comment below, 
If you like this video, if you like the content, you want to see more like it, leave a like. And if there's enough people interested, I'm sure they'll see the comments and they might even consider it themselves. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, you want to see more videos like this, leave a like. It's something different that I haven't really done on my channel yet. But uh, I had a lot of fun filming it, so I'd like to do more if you guys are interested. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.